these allegations are concerning, and obviously the Prime Minister has taken very swift action in withdrawing the whip from Conor Burns and also sacking him from his post as Trade Minister. I, a welcome change, I would say, from Boris Johnson, whose government was brought down by not being able to handle these situations appropriately. Well, in that sense, she's been stuck between a rock and a hard place, mm. hasn't she? Because she has to take action. She has to be seen to take action very quickly to make that distinction between uh, Boris Johnson and, and what brought him down. And yet, Conor Burns is saying, well, I don't really know what I'm accused of yet. Yes, I, it's certainly an interesting turn of events, but in many, in, in, in many cases, I would say, the Prime Minister didn't really have any choice but to act this decisively. It is exactly this kind of incident and the inability to respond in the correct way, which quite literally brought down Boris Johnson. That was a Chris Pincher scandal and not being able to handle that situation properly. She's had a difficult week. She wanted to be seen to be handling the situation properly. And that's what she's done. In any other industry, I guess, you'd be suspended from your job pending an investigation, wouldn't you? Although it, it seems in politics it goes further. He's been stripped of his junior trade ministry and the whip has been withdrawn. That's almost like being pronounced guilty before even being tried. So he's had the whip withdrawn and he has, he has been sacked as the trade minister, but he's still an MP. So he's not lost his job. He's had the whip, with, he's had the whip with, withdrawn. Yeah, so he's no longer, so he's no a, longer conservative a conservative MP and he's no longer part of the government. He still has his job and now there's an investigation. So we'll have to wait and see what the conclusion of that investigation is before we know whether or not he's going to get the whip back and possibly rejoins the government as a minister. And how quickly will that investigation take place? Because, I mean, he says he now wants to clear his name, but obviously he don't want this to go on whichever way it fell. You don't want it to go on for months and months. I think everyone's going to be hoping for a swift conclusion, but what, what we have seen in past cases is that these, these scandals get announced and then there's a huge clamour in the media about it and then everyone forgets about it and these investigations just seem to go on and on and on. I mean, we still haven't really had a resolution from the Chris Pincher scandal, no, have we? Oh. So who knows how long it's going to go on for, but I'm hopeful for a swift revolution, resolution both for uh, Connor Burns and also the person involved at the other end of this. The longer it takes, of course, you do get a bit of a media feeding frenzy. It's already started. Um, I mean, Mel B has joined in on it because she was at the Tory party conference as part of one of her campaigns against domestic violence. And she, after uh, Connor Burns tweeted that he had been um, suspended, more or less, and said he still didn't really know what for, she tweeted, oh, yes, and don't you remember what you said to me in the lift? which has taken everybody aback. So already there's going to be a media build-up. Liz Truss has got to act fast on this investigation, hasn't yeah, she? Yes, I saw that tweet from, from Mel B. Look, I don't think we can speculate about what's happened. The no. investigation is going on. <clears throat> I think we had to let due process take course um, and just hope that the investigation is resolved as quickly as possible.